Hello and greetings from Person Tylers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 16th video of the 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. So the name of the set is Story Story because it's the story of eight people who live in a five story building. In the next slide, you'll see the question. You can pause the video, read the question maybe try on your own and then move ahead. Meanwhile, I would also like to inform you that if you wish to receive these sets and other practice material in the form of PDF files, then please do join our WhatsApp group, the link of which is mentioned in the details of this video. Okay, so two important pieces of information here, which will help us start is the first one and the second one. We will also learn a very, very important thing here through this set. The importance of the word exactly a lot of us tend to ignore the importance the meaning of the word exactly and we tend to oversee it and that's where we make thunder in the question so first thing is the floor on which bob lives and then there are floors above bob's and below bob's floors so it says the number of people above bob bob's floors is 2x and this is x now what these could be? Could they be two and one? No, because in that case, Bob's floor will have to have five people. Okay, now Bob's floor could have five people, but imagine on one floor there are five people and on the remaining four floors, there are only three people. That means there will be at least one floor on which there is no one, which is not to be done by the question. That question says that on every floor, at least one person lives. Okay, then the only possibility is Four to the number of people living below Bob's floors is two and that above Bob's floors is four which means that on Bob's floors there are two people so that makes eight so Bob is living with somebody one more person now let us see the second point in between there are exactly three floors for which the number of occupants is the same now please understand eight is the number of occupants and you have to put exactly three numbers same so let us start with that number being one so one is three times now two more numbers remaining that could be three and two now people ask me why can't it be four and one then you see for yourself that if you put them four and one then there are exactly four numbers same whereas exactly means neither more nor less so ek to hamara ye ho gaya combination let us try another one what about that number being two now six are done two remaining and there are two numbers more to go so there is only one possibility that you put them both as one now people say why can't this is also an equally good arrangement but then that is the time when i have to make you realize the importance of the word exactly when they say there are exactly three floors for which the number of occupants is same that means that three and only three floors have the same number but here you have another pair of floors who have the exactly same number of occupants so that should not happen when they say exactly they mean neither more nor less so when they say three then only three floors have the same number of occupants the other pair or other triplet is not possible so on this note i make this one plus one plus one plus three plus two as my final arrangement okay another thing that we need to understand now which floor can bob live bob cannot be on floor number five because there are people living above Bob's floor. Similarly, he cannot be at first story because there are people living below Bob's floors. Now, Bob also cannot be on the fourth floor because then there will be three floors below Bob and on three floors, you will have to place two people. Remember, there are two people living below Bob and four above Bob. Now, on three floors, if you put two people, there will be at least one floor on which there is there are zero people. So we are now zeroing in on third and second floor. Okay, let us talk about the second floor. What if Bob lives on the second floor? Then below Bob, there are two people. And you know that with Bob also, there is one person. So the floor on which Bob lives, this is the floor on which Bob lives. Now, if you leave just one floor before uh, below Bob, then there are two people below Bob's floors. And there are two people on Bob's floors which makes there are two twos which are not present there is only one two present which tells me that there is only one possibility that bob lives on the second floor and there are two people here okay and below bob's floors there are two floors and two people have to live that means one and one only 
above bob's floors on one so two is done one and one are done one three and one are left so we don't know right now which floor there are three people and which floor there is one person so let me first write down bob plus somebody okay so we don't know that somebody right now okay so we are done with the first and the second conditions now third says both dylan and drake live on the floor that is immediately above the floor on vasti lives on which vasti lives now dylan and drake there are two people who are living on the same floor now that cannot be bob's floor because on bob's floor there is space left only for one person that means Dylan and Drake are the people who live on the floor on which there are three people living. And three ko to abhi Bob ke upar aana hai. So either it could be five here and uh, sorry, uh, three here on the fifth floor and one on the fourth floor. And uh, it could also be that Vasti is living along with Bob. Okay, because uh, they don't tell us that Vasti lives alone or with somebody. Okay, so this idea we leave here. Chhod dete Okay, the number of occupants of floor 5 is different from that of floor 3. Because on floor 5, there are either going to be 3 people or 1 person. And on 3rd floor, there are going to be 2 people. So, this is redundant data. This is not needed. No one among Mark, Nick and Bunyan lives on floor 2. Floor 2, par Mark is not Nick is not all right floor two and floor four have the same number of occupants now this gives us the major breakthrough needed second floor we know already there are one there is one person so fourth floor also has to have one person and here there have to have three people and we also now know dylan and drake are living on the fifth floor and Vashti lives alone on the fourth floor there is one more person required on the fifth floor one person on this then the last point also says that okay the floor on which nick lives has just one occupant okay so the floor on which nick lives has just one occupant which tells us that nick must be living on the first floor so this is also done all right so all right now nick is done now mark and bunyan both do not live on the second floor. So who is left? Kozlik is left and he must be living on the second floor while we are absolutely clueless about Mark and Bunyan. So we have to leave them with an ambiguity. So there is only one ambiguity that on which floor Mark is living and on which Bunyan is living. So we can now go on to see the questions. All right, the first question, who among the following definitely occupies a floor above Bob's? Okay, so above Bob, there are Vashti, Dylan, Drake and one between Mark and Bunyan. So Mark and Bunyan ka to pata nahi hai. One of them definitely, but which of them we cannot choose on our own. Nick definitely not. So unfortunately, we have to mark the fourth option, none of these because definitely we cannot say about any of these three people. Uh, any of these two people second question what is the absolute difference between the number of people who live on four floor five and floor sorry uh what is the what is the absolute difference between the number of people who live on floor five and floor four so floor five and four there are three and one people so the absolute difference is two which is third option and the third question which of the following statements is definitely true the number of people who live below mark's floor is two we cannot say that definitely we cannot say that also if you remember in the previous videos we have talked about this that whenever there is a question like this which asks us if something is definitely true or definitely false or something like that then there is a reverse psychology that i tend to start with the fourth option because generally these questions are made to uh, waste your time so if i read the fourth option first then i see the number of people who live between marks and bunyan's floor is one okay mark and bunyan we don't know their exact location but we do know that they definitely live on third and fifth floors interchangeably whatever and then definitely there is only one person who lives between marks and bunyan's floors so i think fourth is something which is definitely true However, we had started with the first and there could be some options which could be true. Okay, a lot of people ask me that 
सर ये भी तो सही हो सकता है तो फिर इसको क्यों नहीं मार्क किया देन आई टेल दैम दैट यू एक्चुअली आंसर योर क्वेश्चन योर सेल्फ बिकॉज जब आप कहते हो कि ये हो सकता है तो वो डेफिनेट नहीं है और क्वेश्चन में ये वर्ड इसीलिए यूज किया गया है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज डेफिनेटली ट्रू सो देर शुड बी नो डाउट्स अबाउट इट नो इफ एंड बट अबाउट इट Okay, so if you read the other options, like second option, if you see the number of people who live between Nix and Mark's flow, फिर वही problem है जब Mark का ही पता नहीं है तो यहाँ पर हो सकता है तो वन होगा वहां पर हो सकता है तो फोर होगा हो भी सकता है नहीं भी so these are all could be true type options, but fourth is definitely definitely true, must be true. So guys, there were only three questions on this set. This was a typical an arrangement set. one of the most asked types on cat so that would be it for this set thank you so much for watching you can now subscribe to our channel just by clicking on the link which is showed on your screen right now thank you so very much this is mayank rath singh signing off i'll see you again